Hey, welcome back to Arafel. Uh, all right. So I guess touching these bats is going to put me in combat. Probably. Let's find out. Yep, that's how it works. Prepare for battle and make it tattle. I don't know. Wait, who am I using here? Wait, Adrian attack. I thought she was the one that had scout. Multi-target, physical, plus attack, plus defense. One target, physical, ignore defense, bleed. And cyclone, sure. Damn. Alright. I'll take it. Health, but not mag, slowly regenerates outside of combat. Leader will flash white once the party is entirely healed. Alright, so this has, uh... You can avoid combat if you want to, just by, you know, avoiding combat. Like in Final Fantasy Mystic Quest. I forget what mind was. Just like magic defense and ability power, right? Victory! Alright, I'm getting the hang of this. Uh, whoa, oh, okay, because she's healed. And let's fight this bat, because you can never have too much XP. Uh, alright, he'll just attack, I guess. And she can power shot, because why not? I wonder if that'll kill it. Herb recovered. All right. Hmm. Yeah, let's just throw switches without knowing what they do. Oh, there was apparently a barrier there. Well, that's good to know, I guess. I don't know. Did I check this? Oh, hey, the enemies are back. So they respawn when you leave the room. Good to know. Alright, this looks ominous. If I go up there, I'm pretty sure something's gonna happen. Oh, well, let's see what happens. <laughs> sure, let's save my game. Point of no return, are you certain you wish to continue? Sure. Wow, this is pretty incredible. There's hardly any tarnish on it. Do you think it's Elvin? Hmm, beats me. Probably. <laughs> I have no idea. Probably. I've explored some elven ruins before, though, and I've never seen anything like this. If I was going to hide a magic ring, it'd be in a place like this, but I don't see anywhere it could be. What about inside the giant glowy cross thingy? What was that? <laughs> ah! Adrian! Lita, what happened? What do you think happened? She just fell in a hole. Something opened up under my feet. Are you blind? I'm losing my grip, Adrian. I'm gonna fall. Fucking grab her, Jesus Christ. Take my hand. Nope. Yeah, you're an idiot. So far, I hate these characters. <sighs> Ow. Okay. Well, I don't think I'm hurt. Erg, how far did I fall? I can't even see the hole I fell in up there. Are you immune to falling damage? Adrian? Adrian! That useless shit. Well, this is just perfect. I guess I better see if there's a way out of here. Sounds like a plan. Ow, oh, it's another one of these stupid magic barrier thingies. I wonder if there's a way to open it nearby. I mean, probably. 
be a short game if there weren't. Oh look, there's a way to open it. Why is this sparkly? Ick, a skeleton. Hmm. I can barely see it, but it looks like there's a note carved into the floor here. I wonder if I can make out what it says. Turn back. Yeah, great idea, skeleton. Thanks for the heads up. That was useful. Useful information. Guess I'll throw this switch. That sounded like it came from outside. So... That's just tedious. Like, there's no... The first one was fine, because it, like, teaches you how switches work. But... That one, like, there's no challenge in it at all. They could have easily just put that skeleton somewhere else. Is it's that ghost lady again? Hello. Can you help me? I fell down here and I don't know how to get out. <laughs> the silent treatment, eh? Guess I'll swim. Alrighty. Uh, I can jump that, I'm pretty sure. What's over here? Is it something or is it nothing? Hello, it's a chest. I found an amethyst. I don't know what that is or what it's good for, but I'll find out eventually, I'm sure. A whole lot of running around for no reason. Huh, it's a little ring. Could this be what Adrian came here to find? I wonder if I should take it. Uh, well, I'm pretty sure if I leave the ring, nothing will happen. So, uh, let's take the ring because otherwise we're stuck in this room forever. This has got to be the ring we came here to find. Should I take it? <gasps> sure, let's take it. So much trouble for this dumb thing. It's kind of pretty, I guess. Mm, okay. And that was different. Whoa. Whatever that sound is, it is really starting to weird me out. And okay. Another secret door opening suspiciously right after I took this ring. Well, I guess they don't exactly have anywhere else to go. Uh-huh. It looks like that should be stairs right there. Like a stairway from an old Final Fantasy game. Where you just walk onto it and go up to the next level. Uh, see, what is the point of this? It doesn't look like there used to be anything else up there. I don't know. This is a pretty deep hole. Should I climb into it? Of course you should. Really? Ow. What? Oh no, I'm here again. Damn it. I really thought that was going to be the way out. Oh goddess, I'm gonna die in here, aren't I? Yep. I am exhausted. I guess I'll keep looking for a way out in the morning. Oh lord, she's gonna fall asleep on the ground there. Oh god. The ghost is going to murder you. That morning? The fuck? Oh, I guess people came to find her. It's a dwarf. Looks like the girl is well enough. Some bumps and bruises, and I imagine she'll need a good drink of water. She's only sleeping though, and rather soundly I might add. Why don't you wake her up to make sure she's okay instead of just standing around her in a group staring at her? Never mind, that's crazy talk. I see. Well, you have my sincerest gratitude for rescuing my daughter. You came too. What are you talking about? I'll see to a reward for this. 
Oh, don't trouble yourself with that. You may want to tell your daughter to be more careful, though. Indeed. I will see to it that she is appropriately reprimanded. I don't like you. You use big words. Mr. Lakata, I am really sorry this happened. I'm sure you are. Now be quiet and stay away from my daughter from now on. Am I understood? Yes, sir. Now then, let's get her home. You're from Aloria, I take it. Just so happens I've got a wagon of goods headed there for the market. I'll travel there with you. Put the girl on the back of the cart. Let her sleep with the vegetables for a bit. Are they not worried that she's not waking up? <laughs> then I am twice in your debt, Remor. I thank you again. I got a feeling it'll be repaid one way or another. That The girl owes me a favor. Leave it at that for now. Oh, God. That's so ominous. Come on, I want to get to Aloria while the morning is still young. Oh, cold open. <laughs> kind of. So you're an adventurer, eh, boy? Me? Yeah, I guess you could say that. Is that how you make your living? Dangerous work. You never know what sort of evil things lurk in the dark. Yeah, well, fighting is about all I'm good at. So it's this or being a guarded castle, Atana. Oh god, these names. Ruins are more interesting, and besides, somebody has to face off against those evil things, right? Aye, boy. I reckon somebody does. There is no reason that someone has to be my little girl. Nobody was talking about you, man. You're not even a part of this. So yeah, there are a lot of extra people involved in this version of the game. We're nearly to Aloria. Is the girl still asleep? Are you sure she's not dead? She is. She must have been quite exhausted for the bumpy ride not to have woken her. Aye, an evening of spelunking will do that to you, will it? I feel like she needs immediate medical attention, guys. Like, this is not normal. Wasn't there an archery competition later today? I heard the girl was competing in it. She is, she can drag herself out of bed to compete in it. And I decide to allow it after this nonsense. Special thanks to all the people it already listed. Well, here we are. Not too late in the morning, either. Looks like your daughter slept right through it. Without your help, she might have still been trapped in there. I thank you again, Remor. Happy to do it, stranger. Alright, I want to get these vegetables to market before they get slept on some more. Help me bring Lita inside and then leave my home. <laughs> Is that clear? Jesus Christ, I hate this guy. Yes, sir. Off we go then, and if you'll pardon my being forward, I don't think you should go too rough on your daughter. There's a lot to see in this world, it's hard to resist. Alright then, to the bazaar. Chapter 1. Hooray. Ugh, morning already. I hate that stupid bell. Wait, where am I? <laughs> Back home? Was was that all a dream? I don't know. I see you are awake. No, it was not a dream. Jesus, was he listening from the other room? Some dwarven strangers and I rescued you from that hole. Oh, uh, good morning, Papa. Listen, I'm really sorry about that. I, uh, I am not interested in your excuses, child. You could have been hurt or even killed, Lita, and I am rapidly losing my patience with your reckless behavior. I know, but I was really careful this time. It's not my fault a trap door opened up under my feet. The treasure we were looking for is really important, so... An important treasure? And that was reason enough to put yourself in such danger? Again? I mean, obviously, why are you asking? I mean, she did it, didn't she? What would your mother do if we lost you? Have you ever thought about that? 
What would I do? Your brother. Your friends. All this nonsense just to find some damn trinket that you didn't even manage to locate. Or did she? And on the evening of your archery contest, you should have been resting last night and practicing today. No? I had intended to take you on your first hunt after the competition as a reward for all your hard work recently. Well, you can forget about that. And I have half a mind to bar you from the competition as well. Papa, no, come on. I've been looking forward to going hunting since forever. You should have thought of that before I was dragged to Silvara in the dead of night to put you, uh, pull you out of a hole. That was an accident. I know it was an accident. It's always a damn accident with you. Jesus Christ, so much talking in this game. Hey, I am sorry I fell in a stupid hole, but I'm not sorry for not wanting to be trapped in Aloria. I don't want to spend the rest of my life picking apples and feeding chickens. Goddess, you sound just like your mother. What was that? She looks similar to Ghost Lady. No, nothing, dear. That mane is impossible. All right, all right, calm down, Lita. He's a jerk, but it's not like he doesn't have a point. I have gotten into trouble a lot lately. I should go find Papa and apologize. Yes, let's please save the game. Jesus Christ, I haven't had control of my character for like 10 minutes now. All right, well, that's going to be the end of this episode, guys. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.